Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to bake a sweet potato. It's really simple to do, uh, and I have all of our little tools and ingredients laid out here. Um, I'm going to bake one sweet potato. Now, the sweet potato tends to be a little bit more nutritionally dense than the regular old white potato, um, and is often confused with the garnet yam. So you may look at this and say, wait a minute, that's not a sweet potato. Actually, it is. Um, you just may be used to its sort of more orange cousin, um, the garnet yam. It's already been scrubbed, um, so it's ready to go, and I'm going to bake it with the skin on. A lot of nutrition in the skin, but because of that, because I'm cooking it with the skin on, um, as I always suggest, I definitely recommend that you go with organic um, when you can find it. So that's had a nice scrub. Um, I also have a piece of aluminum foil that I'm going to wrap it in. And then I have a fork here that I'm going to use to pierce the sweet potato so that uh, the air and the, you know, the hot air has somewhere to escape when it's baking. Speaking of baking, the oven behind me has preheated at 400 degrees. So what I'm going to do is take my little sweet potato here and I'm going to pierce it um, you know, about like six times depending on the size. This one's pretty thin, so just sort of randomly going to pierce it. Um, you want to really get your fork in there. You don't want to just do like a tiny little like beep. Like that's not going to do it. Really get in there. So sink those tines in. You don't want to go all the way to the other side. Um, and you'll notice because it's raw, it's a little bit kind of hard to get out. But just in various spots, just do like six to ten little, little punctures. Perfect, perfect, perfect. One more on this side. And delightful. And then we are just going to wrap it in foil. And don't worry about doing this too loosely or too tightly. It's just a gentle little wrap. Going to fold it over here. Perfect. And now I'm going to put it in the oven, which again has been preheated 400 degrees. I'm going to put it in there um, from anywhere from like 35 to 40 minutes. Um, I'm going to check it at minute 35 and see if it's fork tender. And literally that means, you know, inserting the fork if it goes in easily and effortlessly much more gently than it did just now, um, and it's literally tender to the fork, we'll know that we're ready to go and eat our delicious sweet potato. So let's pop it in and come back in 35 minutes. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes. I checked in on my sweet potato and it was nice and fork tender. So let's unwrap it and show you what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna be ginger with my fingers here, not like the spice, just gingerly, because it's still really hot. Um, got all that beautiful steam. Okay, here we go. It smells so delicious. You get that kind of sweet, sugary, caramelly scent. But what's interesting, even though it has more flavor um, and that yummy, sweet, sugary scent, um, more so than the white potato, the sweet potato is actually more nutritious than the white potato. First of all, it's a complex carbohydrate versus the white potato, which is simple. Um, being a complex carb means that it breaks down more slowly um, and therefore regulates your blood sugar and you don't have those spikes and drops like you would with a simple carbohydrate. It's also packed with vitamin A and vitamin E. So great nutritious alternative to the white potato. So I'm gonna show you how to open it now. Um, you could certainly eat it as is, or you can mash it, do whatever you want. But if you're gonna eat this like in regular old baked potato style and maybe add some yummy toppings, Here's a little trick for how to do it. This is actually Alton Brown's baked potato opening um, technique. So using your fork, you're going to insert the tines lengthwise all the way through. You're going to go through about halfway. You don't want to go all the way to the other side, and you certainly don't want to pierce the skin on the other side, just like this. And then you're going to press the two ends together, and it will just kind of crack open. Just to make sure. Here we go. Beautiful. Poppity pop, pop, pop. And then use your fork if you need. And then look, you have this wonderful little receptacle now for any sort of yummy goodness that you want to put in your baked sweet potato. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.